How's it going, Thunderbirds? It is week two. We are 1-0, and and hopefully we should get a win here against the 0-1 Falcons. First things first, though, we're going to go ahead and get our training done. And we'll most likely just do the uh, play-action power O and the cover two for our trainings. You know, quarterback and offensive line get extra XP here. And our defensive backs and linebackers get a little bit extra help here. With our training done, we get an upgrade for Daryl Bass. And we're going to throw it at the strong arm. Try to get those deep bombs available. He goes up to 73 overall as well. So, starting to look good. Something was pointed out to me that I didn't even notice. Um, I went to Western Oregon University at the same time as Ty Tyrell Williams, or as everybody there called him, Ty. And I just completely blanked on the fact that he was the man making some plays last week. So if I show any preferential treatment, you can't blame my bias. Let's go ahead and get this one underway. It's Condors v Falcons and a battle of the birds here in Atlanta and we're gonna hope to start the season 2-0. I don't think this will be necessarily an easy matchup but it's something that we sh certainly should be able to take care of. The question is can we come out and execute today uh, or am I gonna just make a bunch of mistakes and so far that's that's okay we'll, we'll take the touchback. First play of the game this looks like it's gonna be a run to the edge and they're gonna get a little bit there but not a whole lot. They're going to go with the read option there on second down. And I was not expecting it, so it works well for a, a good first down there. I should have I realized that they were like in the wildcat there, but apparently I'm just too blind. Nice pass there. And is that going to be a face mask on top of it or what? Oh, wow. Falcons moving the ball quick here. Another first down, another carry. It's another good gain, thankfully. Makes a weird little juke there. And on second down, they will hand it off, and that'll be a first and goal. I don't really know what it is, but there's just not a whole lot that we can do. Although Conley with the interception, does he have the speed? It looks like it's going to be a pick six. And we just got bailed out by the defense. They make a terrible throw there. I don't know why they don't just keep running. And just like that, Condors are on the board first, an 88-yard pick six. At this point, we have to be leading the league in interceptions. As so, oh, we get a hand on another pass. Second and ten, I feel like they should run here, but they're not going to. And they dump it off for a third and short. Matt Ryan... Now two of four through the air. They will hand this one off. I just whiffed the tackle there. We could have had him in a fourth down, but I'm going to let Smith pick up that first on the ground. Their running has been pretty solid. Oh, I just got baited. But then I baited him back. Trevithan with another pick. <laughs> oh, no. That's already our third interception with Trevithan in the season. I bought the play action. I thought there was going to be a little bit of a draw there, but... Uh, Ended up getting back in time for the interception and tricked Matt Ryan into throwing a stupid one. Second and five will go to the air. That's a wide open Renfro, and just like that, we're across the 25. See if we can find someone here on third and long. I'm waiting for Renfro. That's a terrible throw, but he come... What? He came down with it. Oh, we got bailed out there. There is no reason why that pass shouldn't have been intercepted. But it works in our favor, and it allows us to get that first and goal. Trying to trick the defense here with a little read option. And allows LeBlanc a pretty big hole up the middle inside the three, I think. But he's injured. Hopefully that's not too bad. That brings Jacobs in. And the offensive line doing a great job holding there. And we're going to take a 14-0 lead. LeBlanc has a dislocated shoulder. So I'm curious how long that actually puts him out for. It looks like LeBlanc's going to be just out for the game, so not the worst injury, but still not good news. And there's a good stop. Second 11, there's a draw that absolutely destroyed me with a little move. And that's going to be the end of the first quarter. So at the end of one, up 14-0 with a pair of interceptions. And the Falcons have got to, you know, keep control of the ball a little bit better if they want to have a chance in this game. 
Third and three, I was kind of expecting a, uh, <gasps> oh, a run. They threw a dangerous pass and Dunbar just couldn't get to it. It really did feel like we were going to have a good chance to get to that one. And here I just see a couple guys missing. Joyner can't get the tackle. Trevathan comes back and pulls him down, but another big first down. Definitely expecting a run here. They will hand it off, and we're going to do a decent job blowing that play up. Second and seven. They're going to drop back and pass, and I had two guys to cover. I chose the wrong one. Another first down, almost in the red zone, and we get the sack. Okay, Hurst, I'm taking that. Second and 17 now. They'll go to the air, and... We'll give them the check down. They got way too much out of that one. Well, now on third and five, we can't be too sure that they won't just run it. I was expecting to be able to stop a pass. It looks like a draw. I took the wrong gap. And it's a first and goal at about the three. This will be a play action pass. There's somebody's got to get to Matt Ryan here. All the time in the world, and he just has to throw it away. Oh, we should have had a sack there. No reason not to get a sack on that last play. Second and goal now. There's finally the handoff. We get the tackle, but he's into the end zone. Falcons hold on to the ball, that possession, and they end up with six. This is the first time all game we've actually had to go the length of the field on a drive. And I gotta be honest, I just saw my circle open, but... Uh, oh, man. Couldn't scramble away there. Second and 12. Maybe half circle. Okay, Nelson, thank you. Bass at the moment is a perfect three of three. Uh, we're gonna hand this one off though. Three minutes to go in the half. I gotta be a little bit aware of that. Jacobs, does he have the speed here to outrun his man? Not quite, but he gets a great amount of yardage and we'll go hurry up. Let's throw up a pass and see if somebody gets open. They're bringing pressure. Circle maybe, no, the sack came. Oh no. Looks like Williams will have a one-on-one -on -one here, but we're gonna, oh, this is a terribly risky throw to Renfro. I'm, again, lucky that's not picked off. Well, third and very long. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Try the curl route, and Butler holds on to it? No. Incomplete pass. After the two-minute warning, Falcons have a chance here to maybe even things up. I see guys going all over the place, and there's the sack. Decent coverage that time. Who knows? Maybe we can get the ball back here. We're giving up way too many check downs that turn into yards after catch. Falcons going with a hurry up here. Uh, don't hold on to that. Thank you. If three guys hit him and he held on to that, I would have cried foul. It's a quick fourth and seven. Uh, we've got all our timeouts and a minute and 12 to work with. I would love to come up with points here. See how the blocking will hold. Okay. Jacobs going to get us a great return here. Broke a tackle. Is this going to be six? Jacobs, one man to beat. Can't get it along the edge, but we are inside the 20. And with all our timeouts, you got to expect that we should maybe come up with six here. That's my expectation. There's square. Catch for Ty Williams. And he's inside the two. Let's take a, a timeout. Jacobs has been having a good game. He already has one rushing touchdown. From the two-yard line, we'll see if we can give him another. The line not holding, and he gets stuffed. He'll lose a couple of yards there, and now he's injured. I'm not going to have any running backs. Well, now Butler is in at running back, which is not what you want to see. Maybe he can get it done? Not really. He got back to the line, and uh, the Falcons just took a timeout. Oh, my gosh. The Falcons took a timeout, which is stupid if they think that we're just going to kick the field goal. 40 seconds to go. Fourth and inches. We're going to try the read option. Bass is going to keep it. He's got a block, and he's got the touchdown. 37 seconds left, and I got to thank Atlanta for taking that timeout. Hurts them and helped me. Uh, questionable quack management skills there. And they're going to go check down. Uh, I don't think they're getting much here. They do take their second timeout, though. 30 seconds now. They're going to try to pass. No way Ryan is still able to get something off there. Yeah, I'm actually going to take the time out now. <laughs> it's third and 13. I want them to have to, to go for this. We've been having a lot of success on defense. Why not make them pass or 
make them risk it on the ground. <laughs> and <laughs> all right, we'll give Devontae Freeman a few rushing yards. That'll let the clock hit triple zeros, and we can go into the locker rooms with a pretty nice 14 point lead. I think we get the ball to start the third quarter as well. I certainly can't be upset. I mean, they outgained us in yardage, but the turnovers just uh, tell a whole nother story. The biggest thing for me is trying to stay safe with the ball, so it's going to mean throwing the, the football away in situations where in NCAA I might be throwing picks. Now on third and eight, we will try to go to the air. There's Renfro, catch and run, first down. Look to take a shot on first and ten. Williams has two safeties, heaving it up for Jacobs. Uh oh, that's a pick, isn't it? Ooh. Wow. It was a very high bat. Ball just kind of went flying on that one. Here we got Williams, and he's going to get a couple of yards. And it's another third down. Kind of looking for Renfro. We're right there across the middle. Aitman with the possession catch gets us another first down. And Bass isn't the fastest QB, but we're going to continue to try and utilize the read option just to keep the defense guessing here and there. Third and 11, looking for Williams. He should have the one-on-one. -on -one. He came down with it, but there's a flag. Is this going to be a holding? Pass interference, okay. Well, it's another first down, and what a catch from Williams, especially through the contact. Um, that'll kind of open us up again, trying to do something. And oof, risky throw that time for Bass. Just trying to get the pass off here. Uh, X is open. Uh, I, the way, I really hate scrambling in this game. It's so, so clunky. It just does not feel good. I'm going to look for Williams again here. And he came down with that one again. Oh, man. At this point, it almost might be wise just to start burning clock up 14. Hand this one off. And Butler gets a decent little carry. See what we can get here on third and fourth. Should be an easy little slant route. Try the timing. Find Williams inside the 15. See what we can do running at the 13. No blockings. Uh, Jacob's just going to get destroyed. What a catch. Are you kidding me? We're at the two just like that. I didn't say anything on that last one because I didn't expect the pass to be caught. Puts us at the two and just like that. Dude, our running game is not good today. And he broke the tackle, so he loses that forward progress. Second and goal at the 10. We're going to take this into the fourth quarter. Uh, still with that 14-point lead, and I think it's time to start chewing a little bit of clock because I don't, I don't see how the Falcons could come back right now. Second and goal. We'll try the read option. Bass is going to keep it. He's going to get obliterated, and I knew the fumble was coming. This could be a scoop and score. Please tackle him. Oh, my goodness. I knew that was going to come eventually. The more you try those read options, the more likely. And Bass just doesn't have the carrying to take a hit like that. Well, let's see if the defense can continue to hold. 7.54 in the game. And they're going to continue to take checkdowns. Falcons might have more passing yards, but those... Two interceptions for Matt Ryan are certainly not good. And that's going to be another sack. That's her third sack of the game. Force the Falcons into a third and very long. I want to see the defense just hold here. We don't need anything crazy. Uh, and there's another sack. Wow, we're bringing the pressure on this punt for sure. They're only at the two. It's Doss's, well first half sack of his career. And the Falcons are going to go for this. Fourth and 26. I guess it's late in the game that they have to. We're going to bring a little bit of a blitz. And it's incomplete. So we get the ball at the two-yard line. Well, we're definitely in no hurry to score here. So first and goal, we'll hand it off. And if they stop us, they stop us. But almost looked like they wanted that to happen. And there's an injury as well for Atlanta. So that's just uh, kicking a team while they're down. 28 now to seven you know we have this difficulty settings on all pro because when i first started playing this game it seems like i would never be able to do well in all madden but we might have to make an adjustment they go with a screen there and what do they get maybe a yard they lost two so it really does seem like we might be upping the difficulty here second and 12 
Double move? Do like, come on. That's two games in a row with two picks for Trevathan, and they're all user picks. Second quarterback in a row as well that I've been able to bait into throwing those. Uh, Jacobs, nothing doing there, but we have to have the most picks right now in the uh, in the NFL. That's like six through two games. Uh, still nothing doing on the runs. Third and ten will go to the air just to try to get that first down, and we're going to check down here, I think. Smith, just give us positive yards. We're going to go for this on fourth down just to try and burn as much clock as possible. We only have to get eight. I see Renfro. And he's got the first down. There's a flag, though. Could be a holding. Most likely is. Dang. That's going back, and maybe now we kick the field goal. Graham Glasgow gets hit with that one. At least we burned a little bit more time off the clock. This kick should be good, and we'll extend the lead, but... I would have much rather burned out the rest of the clock with possession. And with 3.31 left, now the uh, the Falcons are going to have to go for this, and they'll be real aggressive here. 111 yards and three interceptions for Matt Ryan. That is, that is a yikes. Are you kidding me? What are the... <laughs> Trevathan is apparently the greatest middle linebacker in the NFL at this point. Five interceptions through... Th Two games. Sorry. We'll try to give this one to Williams on a little jet sweep. And he's kind of got the edge, but not a whole lot more. We've gotten to the two-minute warning. We're across midfield. And Wilson, he held on to that. They should give us the first down with that one as well. Now, our drive goal is to get two first downs. So I do want to do that. I like that XP and I like that morale. The question is who's going to be available. There's Nelson. There's that second first down. And now we can just burn the clock out. The worst part about this game was that LeBlanc couldn't be a part of it. And he couldn't get that free XP and those levels up. Jacob's another nice carry there. I think LeBlanc would have had a better game. We'll run this last play. Try to get a few more yards and some more XP for the backup. Or he can just get obliterated. <laughs> Clock hits triple zeros in the fourth game is over. It's 31 to 7. And, you know, when we can force five interceptions in a game, it's going to be pretty hard to lose. Once the Falcons were forced to start uh, throwing the ball instead of running it, that's kind of where they fell apart. And we are looking real good. In the end, Bass... Goes 14-19 for 156 yards and no touchdowns, so not that great. Jacobs carries it 14 times for only 16 yards, but he does pick up a pair of touchdowns. LeBlanc in his five carries had six before going out injured. Uh, Bass had a rushing touchdown, but not much else. We just didn't run the ball very well. Receiving-wise, we did pretty dang solid. No receiving touchdowns, but Williams had five catches for 54 yards. Renfro, three for 40. Nelson, three for 42. And on defense, let's just go ahead and look at sacks. Three for Maurice Hurst, one and a half for Clellan Farrell, and a half sack for the rookie Tyler Doss. And then three more picks for Danny Trevith and all users. And one for Gary on Conley. Basically, we're just like the nastiest team out there. We end up with four players getting upgrades after that game, which is fantastic for us. Left end, center, tight end, and corner. All, all positions which we can definitely use upgrades in. And for the second week in a row, Danny Trevathan is the AFC Defensive Player of the Week. Uh, just getting better. If, if this trend continues, we can extrapolate data and just assume that every week he's going to get one more tackle and one interception. So by the end of the season... Look out NFL because Danny is going to have like, what, 17 or so interceptions? And it looks like we've got uh, Gary and Conley there, our corner, ready for a breakout game. So next episode, we're going to try and see if we can secure that up as dev trait. Um, but he's also ready to negotiate. So I'd be curious to see what we can get him for. And especially if we get that dev trait, it'll be worth it. He's only 25 years old. We'll also start scouting our college players. We're going to have it to play against the Broncos in Denver. So who knows? Maybe the elevation is what uh, these birds need to lose. Also a decent chance that we will be upping the difficulty at some point to all man to see if maybe we can make things just a little bit more difficult on ourselves. 
But anyways, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed this, please feel free to subscribe or maybe go over to twitch.tv slash poonmaster69 to check us out live there. I hope you enjoyed the video, but regardless, my name is Poonmaster. You guys are the Thunderbirds, and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning, and we'll see you later. Adios.